Hello, this is the Haunt Informer, and today I'm giving you my review of the Scare House at the Pittsburgh Mills Mall. So my day at the Scare House started out by doing the behind the scenes tour, and I was let into the facility of the Scare House by Nicole, and that was nice, and I was actually the only person doing the behind the scenes tour, so it was just me, and that was all nice, they were all very nice to me, and Nicole was very nice, and Heather, my tour guide, was very nice, and she is the one who did my behind the scenes tour, knew a lot about it, and she knows a lot about the scare house because she's actually one of the set designers and decorators there, and she creates all kinds of cool things there, all kinds of great detailing and texturing and all kinds of blood techniques, and she told me all about that. So definitely check out the behind the scenes tour if you can snag a ticket for that. Definitely do it. It's worth your time. It's a lot of fun. You can see it's very different seeing it with the lights on than it is with the set lighting, the show lighting, because it is a lot and more intense and scary because all the actors in there yelling at you, coming after you. So it is a very different experience seeing it during the day and hearing about everything that goes into making the scare house and then going through the experience. And the behind the scenes tour actually lets you see the costume and makeup department as well. And that was really cool. I always love seeing the different costume departments and seeing different things they have. And they actually had an entire area where they just actually fabricate and build props and have a bunch of props and things stored. So I really like seeing all that. That was very fascinating to me. And I loved the whole tour. It was a lot of fun. There are three themes at the Scare House this year. And the first one is called Demon Hour. Then there's Oblivion. And then there is the last one, End of Days. And the first one, Demon Hour, has lots of different scenes. And of course, as the name suggests, there's demonic areas to it. It's very gory and over the top. All attractions at the Scare House have graphic, gory areas to them. And I really enjoyed the attractions. They were really cool. And I also got to do an interview with one of the co-owners. And that was really nice, Scott Simmons. And I was very excited to talk to him. I wanted to talk to him for years. And that interview went great. He had a lot to tell me, and it was like a 10-minute interview, so we had a really good time talking. You can see that interview linked in the corner, and thank you everybody for watching that interview as well already. So that was the way my experience at the Scare started, behind the scenes tours with all those nice people, and getting to do the interview with Scott Simmons. I had bought a Rest in Peace Pass for the night, which is the equivalent to their VIP it's a separate line that is nowhere near as long as the normal general mission line, and that is the one I chose, and that meant that I could skip the bad line when I came later in the night, and this was on one of the busiest Saturdays that is open for the haunt industry. It's one of the busiest Saturdays, and Scott told me when it was the best time to come, and he said somewhere around 6.30, but I ended up actually going to the attraction and threw it around a little after 7, and it was still not crazy packed yet, and I never saw the attraction crazy packed, but there was a decent crowd eventually later in the night. I ended up going through the scare house two times, and the first time I went through, I missed some of the scares, and all the actors I did encounter were great, but I did miss some scares, and I wanted to see them and I paid for a normal general mission ticket, and I went through again. And before I went through the attractions, there was a little bit of time, a couple hours, that I could waste doing something else before I went through the attractions with the show lighting and all the actors and all that good stuff. So I went to the Burgatory Bar, and that was a lot of fun. I really liked that restaurant. It was nice. It was fun theming, and they actually have... A relationship with the scare house and they actually sell a milkshake called the scare house shake and it actually benefits a charity and i got that and it was a lot of fun it was very good it had a gummy worm on the top and it was a oreo dirt milkshake i highly recommend getting that at the burgatory bar and i got a custom burger and it was very good so definitely check out the burgatory bar it was very good and it wasn't terribly far away from the scare house it's like 30 minutes away so definitely check that out so I went through the scare house two times, and the scare actors were different each time. I really enjoyed that they changed their scare techniques, and they had different skit lines, and that was a lot of fun. 
and I really enjoyed all the experiences, all three haunts, and definitely shout out to all of the actors outside the line, the Scarehouse Bunny, I got a picture with the Scarehouse Bunny, and I got a picture with this crazy clown, and I got a picture with one of the zombies, the Pittsburgh zombies, and that was a lot of fun, I really enjoyed those characters. You can get a picture with the Scarehouse banner, you can get a picture with that, and you can get a picture with a zombie photo op, that is closer to the entrance of the mall on the approach to the scare house. You have to walk past the food court and then you will go up to the scare house and you'll see all the signage for that and you can go in from there. And I really liked all those actors. They were all great and I got pictures with them and that was a lot of fun. So the experience for the scare house starts when you're waiting in line. You are not safe in line. Actors will come after you and that was fun. I like both experiences through the scare house and the second time I got more scares because I actually was let in by myself the first time as my own group and that was a lot of fun and I really like the interactive flashlight for the demon hour. I'm not going to ruin the scares and experience for you but it was very interactive and you got to put it on different things and different animatronics would come on and it really set you up for great scares in the haunt attraction because you're busy looking around trying to make animatronics turn on and different effects and different sound effects and you'll get different effects each time you go through. I saw different effects the second time I went through then I went the first time. It is a black light UV flashlight that they give you and it's really cool how it all shows up and everything. So I really like that attraction. Very good characters. I really like that church scene. It's very, very dark and very gory and messed up. But it is a really cool scene and there was a demonic nun before the actual approach to the church. And before that, there was a demon nun, and she was wearing a mask that looked like it was someone's skin, but carved to look like a jack-o'-lantern, so that was super neat. I hadn't seen that at another haunt attraction, and at first, she just screamed at me, and then I thought that was the end of my interaction with her, but then I went into the demonic church, and then she just all of a sudden appeared and screamed at me. That got me good, so shout out to that scare actor. I got multiple good startle scares in the scare house, especially the second time because I got more scares that time. And I really like that demonic church area in the demon hour. Right before you go through the attraction oblivion, there's a scare actor that collects your flashlight and they're messing with you and talking to you and totally in character. It's not just a person saying, hey, give me your flashlight. It's a scare actor that's in character messing with you and you give your flashlight to them. So that was fun. I liked that they had that themed and it wasn't just uh, an employee saying, give me your flashlight. It was a scare actor, totally themed in character with a mask, whole outfit and taking the flashlight from you. And that was a lot of fun. Go onto a vortex tunnel and those are always fun and trippy. And this was different than any other vortex tunnel I'd been on before because at the exit, the exit was actually cut where it looked like a triangle instead of the normal rectangle shape that you go through. So that was interesting. It definitely messed with you already getting messed up with the uh, turning of the whole area with the vortex. And then you look at that triangle and that messed with you. So that was really cool. I like that twist to it. I hadn't seen a triangle at the end of a vortex tunnel anywhere else. And then that leads you to this really demented sleep deprivation area. I really like that area. Shout out to the demented doctor in that area. That was very cool. There are a lot of really cool scenes in Oblivion. I really enjoyed that attraction, and I really liked all the twists and turns and the dark areas and all the interactive elements. I really liked it, and there's a mirror maze in there, and it was very creepy and dark and really messed with your senses. So there is a lot of really cool scenes. There is one trippy area in Oblivion where it looks like there is a giant robot monster coming at you. It's a cutout that they made, a custom painting and everything, and different skyscrapers and that area is supposed to be you are a person going through that city and you are the normal human size and everything is larger than life and there's an actor in there so that was really cool i like that that was unique it was different than any other haunt attraction i've been through so that was a really cool scene great job i liked hearing about how they did that scene from heather with the behind the scenes tour so definitely do that tour so you can learn more about that scene and that will lead you to the rest of the attraction, and there's so much to see with Oblivion. It's a lot of fun. And then you go to the last attraction, End of Days, which is the post-apocalyptic zombie attraction. And you'll encounter lots of cool characters in there. 
you'll encounter both survivors and zombies. All the actors are aggressive and intense. And there's a comic relief area to that where you go through a convenience store. And that guy did different skit lines both times I went through the attraction. Second time he said they had nachos, different kinds of nachos. So, and definitely look at all the theming in that area. Definitely look at those different posters and the rotting food and all that good stuff in the convenience store. So definitely check that out. There's some bugs on there. So look out for that. And I really like the post-apocalyptic area. The whole attraction was really good. Some areas are very gory and dark and really messed up, but it's really enjoyable. You'll love it. It's a really fun Really good themes, lots of cool interactive scares, and I really liked it. It was really cool, and definitely pay attention to your surroundings because they have different interactive elements that I hadn't seen other attractions. Like you went to one area where there was a prop of a character on this gurney, and it was hung up to the ceiling, and what was really cool about it was that they had an air effect that would blow down at you some air, and there was a spotlight going around to make you feel like there was a helicopter up there pulling that character away from you on the gurney. So that was really cool. So definitely look out for that. Definitely look for that effect when you go through the attraction. And I really enjoyed the scare house. All three attractions were good. And at the end of the scare house, there is a cool gift shop. And I really like the theme of there. Very photogenic. Lots of fun shirts and shot glasses and all kinds of different hoodies and shirts you can get. So it was a lot of fun. I really like the theming in there. And you can get more than just shirts. There are different cool spooky items you can purchase in that shop. And there are fun pictures you can buy as well. Little pictures of the different characters of the scare house like Creepo and the scare house bunny. And all kinds of cool stuff in there. So definitely check out that gift shop. It's a lot of fun. Take your time looking in there. That's a lot of fun stuff in there to look. And look at the different displays. And they have their own recreation of the Annabelle setup. Where she's in the box. And it says positively do not open this. So I really like that. That was fun. And if you want to go through the scare house again. This is where you buy another ticket. So I went up to the cash register. After I went through the first time and I went in there and I bought my ticket there. Very nice people and it was like $28 for another ticket that night and I got to go through the scare house again and it was great. So definitely check out the scare house. It has great scare actors, great actors in line you can get pictures with, the zombie photo op before you approach the line, really good gift shop, all three attractions, all three themes are really good. So. I really enjoyed my experience at the scare house, so definitely check it out at the Pittsburgh Mills Mall. That was the Han Informer. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get a notification every single time I up a new video. Give this video a thumbs up and share with your friends. And I'm on social media. I am on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. You can find all those links in the description below. And as always, happy hauntings.